Oh, God, remember I used to think Sinistil was a really cool film to shoot. What's happening, folks? In today's video, I'm shooting a roll of Sinistil 800T film. What's happening folks? Um, tonight I'm going to do something a little bit different. I got myself a roll of Cinestill 800T film which I've never shot before and to be honest I've never really shot film since about 2014. So this will be an interesting experiment. Also nobody's really out on the streets um, or the people that are out aren't really doing anything, in doing anything interesting so I'm going to shoot stereotypical Cinestill stuff, gas stations, bus stops, abandoned buildings, anything that's lit up with sort of orangey light. So I'm shooting an old Canon EOS Elan 7 with the 50mm 1.8 nifty 50 thing. Whole setup costs probably about 200 bucks. So nice and cheap. Um, also it says to load it in subdued light. So I can't see what I'm doing, which makes it extremely difficult to actually load any film. There we go. That's how often I've used this camera. It doesn't have teeth or anything. This is a pretty easy camera to load, so I guess I'll just stick that there and hope for the best. That sounded like it caught something. I think we're good. All right, I'm even using a tripod and I, I don't like using tripods. I like having less gear, small amounts of things to carry. So the first few shots I had actually planned for a few nights before I'd drove past this bus stop and thought it looked pretty cool because it was so isolated. Alright, the first picture down. Let's move on to the next one. Not too far from there there's this really cool old like 60s or 70s looking drive through diner place and I knew that at some point I wanted to take a photo of this place um, and I also definitely want to go and eat there at some point as well. And just to the left of where I was standing to take those photos, the entrance sign was also really cool and it was being lit up by street lights or some other sort of ambient light. I was about to leave but I feel like I see another frame. Might need a 35 though, so let's see. And I'm really glad that I stopped there to take a picture because I almost didn't and it actually turned out to be probably my favourite photo of the night. Now I'm trying to find a shot of the new Olympic Museum but I'm finding all these like roadworks and this is going to change soon so I feel like I should make a picture of this. this little scene here or something, or the road dug up over here. I shot this photo because I thought that the yellows and the different railings and stuff would add up to some sort of cool composition and the reflection was in there, but I absolutely hate this one, it came out terrible. However, I've just turned around and there's this little scene of like this clock tower and the bulldozers, diggers, construction things, whatever they are. Um, just like in the middle of the road because obviously the road's under construction and I feel like this is a shot that won't be around forever and we'll change oh here we go This one came out really cool. The city won't look like this for long. These excavators have completely dug up this road and this is pretty much center city. So this is a photo that is kind of, it's not, it's not going to be there all the time, it's not going to be repeatable, and uh, yeah, I, I like the scene. Another thing, look how empty the streets of Colorado Springs are. Absolute madness, this would not, never have happened in Philly. I didn't film anything before I shot this next photo, but it didn't come out as cool as I thought it was going to be anyways, so... I don't really care. Alright, I don't think I can keep taking pictures like that all night. 
I've literally taken about 10 pictures on a roll of 36. So I'm gonna just take a walk and see if I can find some pictures to shoot that way and if I can actually shoot it handheld slow enough. I, I don't know, but I didn't bring them out for the GoPro, so I'm not gonna film this part. I did not do this for very long. I took three photos in total and it became clear that if I tried to shoot the whole roll this way, I was gonna be wasting it. At this point, I was starting to feel tired. I was getting kind of grumpy and I didn't think that I was getting any photos that I liked. And it was feeling really awkward. I felt awkward on the streets because I wasn't really sure exactly what I was doing and I felt like I was kind of out of place or something felt sketchy. I don't know what it was. But I had to finish this roll because I wanted to get it developed. I'd had it in my fridge for a while now. And so for a second, I think I'd given up trying to film the shots that I was getting. But then in pretty quick succession, I found a couple cool locations. And the first place that perked up my interest was this I guess it was a former gas station because it has that cover that gas stations have, but it was like white and red. I liked the colors that were in there. And lucky enough, the road was quiet because the best way to frame it was standing in the middle of the road where I got this first photo. And then I moved a little bit closer and got another photo there. Had I known it was gonna come out so nicely, I would have stayed and shot some more detail photos, but I moved on and actually the next location I found was really cool as well. At the entrance to that alley, there's this Asian restaurant with like that entrance sort of vestibule area and some curtains and there was a really cool shadow being cast inside. I wasn't sure how this was going to come out because it wasn't actually that bright when I was there. I just, it was a longer exposure to get that photo to work. And I really like this photo. I like the sort of layers that are in there. There's different elements. It's the, the shadows are coming in there. There's the texture of the curtains. Uh, it's just, it's a complex looking frame, but I, I, I like it. I think it looks cool. I was still feeling pretty demotivated and I didn't film these two shots either because I didn't think they were going to come out well. But this was a random street corner with a single light. Uh, I like this. I think it, it looks very cine still, kind of stereotypical, cliche, single light photo. And then also this house that was lit up entirely red. I think it was maybe a business actually but it looked very interesting. I thought maybe if I get the red tail lights of a car going through there, it would be cool. But what I didn't think about was that the car headlights were also gonna illuminate those trees above. So I got a really nice green contrast in there. And I think that's what made the photo for me. Then of course, I found a laundromat and realized I have to stop and photograph a laundromat because I'm shooting with cine still and I need to get the cliches out of my system. This is the very last shot of the night and I didn't think I was going to do it but I did find a gas station that I wanted to shoot. I'm just waiting for a car to pass through and get a little bit of headlight trails. one extra shot than I thought it was but one roll of sin still um, I have to say it was a horrible experience <laughs> so hopefully the photos come out better than I feel about them so as much as I was not feeling very upbeat or motivated on that night I think a couple of those photos are bangers I really like that hamburger sign I really like the one the Asian restaurant window one I think the two at that old gas station that's now like a donation center for something kind of make a nice set. The ones in the alleyway are super cool with that sort of interesting shaped, I don't know what the heck it was, but it made a cool shape. And yeah, overall, I'm really happy with quite a few photos from that roll. So that's definitely gave me some motivation to get some more rolls and go back out and shoot some night stuff hopefully film it a bit better this time. Cinecill is a really popular film just now and it's also pretty expensive and it gives a kind of unique look, especially when you have um, lights in the picture. It sort of produces that red halation glow around any strong points of light. 
and some people absolutely hate that and some people love that. I personally quite like it. I think it gives a kind of unique look. It does give away clear as day what film you're shooting on, but that's fine. But I do wonder if eventually this is the kind of thing that's going to become dated and kind of cringy. So you're going to look back at your photos and be like, oh, God, remember I used to think Cinestill was a really cool film to shoot. I think when I shoot this again, or any film again, I'm gonna develop it myself because it's just kind of expensive to get developed at labs and I, I don't have the, the spare income right now to be doing that all the time. And I'm kind of interested to just learn how to do it myself. Anyways, if you want to get a better look at these photos, head over to my Instagram, at the Liam Gordon. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favour, check out the playlist up in the corner here, or go and watch some of my other videos. I would greatly appreciate that. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.